A cold sided joint occurs when one or both of the pieces of metal being soldered together are not heated sufficiently. The solder should, it, the joint should always be heated sufficiently to have the solder molting, molten, yeah, molten and melting into the joint a nice shiny surface. If it looks crystallized or rough or something like that, it's quite likely the joint has not had enough heat. So that's another reason for having the minimum amount of solder uh, to do the job. It's a lot easier to see if you've got faulty solder joints. and correct them. And again, too much, you got a big blob. So. What can happen when you have a cold solder joint, Jack? A little bit of vibrational flexing and the two pieces of or the, two, or the connection will separate. I'm just playing devil back. That's, that's fine. It's, uh, I've got no problem with that. In fact, you, you're thinking up some questions that are, that are really very good. Or even worse if it's intermittent. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. We'll talk. The, uh, the cold solder joint is, uh, in most of the cases, the joints that we're working with are an electrical connection as well. I mean, that's primarily what they are, is an electrical connection. And some cold solder joints can be very deceptive because underneath, it looks good on the surface, but underneath, it's sitting there just almost touching. So. We're not touching quite enough. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. Like sitting on a grain of sand and the rest of it just looks nice. Yeah. So Thank you, Jack. The whole thing the whole thing is is uh practice. The uh it's not difficult. A couple of basic steps and then you uh practice. Thank you all. Thanks, Jack. <laughs>